Okay, in terms of investigation, a, um, I don't know if you'd even call it uh, part of the uh, program, maybe a diversion, but uh, this is important, and that is uh, the difference between enticement and entrapment. Um, and I, well, I, most obviously, I suppose, uh, immediately comes to mind is, is honey pots. Um, now, honey pots, uh, generally speaking, you are not, uh, collecting, uh, evidence, uh, to throw people in jail or, or, you know, charge them criminal, uh, charges, whatever. Um, the, uh, I mean, if you are, you're going to be disappointed because honey pots, um, I mean, you just got to look at the mass. Um, somebody who is doing a random walk through your network, uh, you know, you've got a hundred machines. One of them is a honey pot. There's only a 1% chance that he's going to hit the honey pot. Um, it's certainly not protection. Now, um, if they are you know, doing all kinds of things, and yes, uh, you may be able to, uh, with a honey pot, um, gather more information, more definite information. Uh, you know, you set up a file, um, uh, somewhat difficult to get at, uh, called the secret rocket plans or, uh, all the credit card numbers in the entire world, <coughs> et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, you know, see if they bite and how much effort they will put into and, and what type of effort and, and what, um, uh, you know, keep them on the line long enough that you can trace back through various machines. Maybe, maybe. Um, but uh, a honey pot. Uh, it's there to, to do research. It's a lot of fun, as I say, but, you know, it's, it's not protective. And it's, it, it, you know, it's unlikely to give you, uh, you know, really good information, uh, in terms of an investigation and evidence. The thing is that a honeypot is an enticement. You set it up, you, you set up an attractive looking uh, system, sometimes even it's just a virtual system, um, that, uh, you hope the bad guys are going to find and explore, and you can gain information from how they explore that. Um, that's enticement. Uh, enticement is, um, maybe saying to somebody, you know, I wonder if somebody could break into this system that's enticement now that's yeah, by and large legal and and anything that somebody does uh in reaction to that enticement um you can collect that that's that's evidence um uh, that's legal it's permissible uh, you can you know generally speaking uh with some backup in terms of foundation of admissibility and, and why you did this and so on and so forth, um, that is okay. Saying to somebody, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you break into the system, that's entrapment. That is not allowed. Enticement is... Uh, uh, presenting to someone an enticing opportunity, or what looks like an enticing opportunity, um, and and seeing if they bite. Entrapment is asking, or sometimes even forcing them, you know, to to do something uh, wrong. That is that is wrong, and and there's, oh, you know, if you want to go into the case law about this, all kinds of um, scenarios, all kinds of uh, actual stories where um, you know, law enforcement agencies 
have done this go into you know they're supposedly penetrating terrorist groups and they actually go into the terrorist group and you know suggest targets and provide the explosives and provide the training and uh, that sort of thing to to get people in trouble and then when it comes to court and it all you know all of the details of this come out in court and the courts go you're kidding you know these these people were just goofs you know they were not terrorists you turned them into terrorists that's wrong you are at fault here uh, you know they we are not going to throw them in jail for being goofs because you entrapped them so that is um, the difference between enticement and entrapment and enticement is as I say okay uh, and like I say you know honey pots are fine uh, entrapment is is not okay uh, unfortunately this this sort of wanders into different areas for example there is uh, the fact that uh, welcome screens you know all uh, systems uh, used to say before you logged on and that was probably the point you know welcome to such and such a system well, you know, if it says welcome, somebody did successfully, you know, they, they penetrated the system, they, they intruded, they had no right to get into the system, they did get into the system, they were caught, they were charged, and they said, well, you know, hey, I, you know, I dialed up this system and it said welcome, so I tried to get in. Um, so, you know, that's, that is, uh, pushing the idea of entrapment a little bit but you know it it there is case law supporting that kind of interpretation so you need to be careful um particularly when you are doing honeypot honey net um types of activities and particularly when you think it, that you are going to use this for uh evidence that um, you can't make the enticement too enticing or you know when uh, if you uh, penetrate some kind of cracker group and uh, you know suggest targets and that sort of thing uh, no that's you know that's entrapment that that is not okay uh, so be aware of that, be careful of that.